Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video brought to you by the guys at Musician Goods, the one-stop shop for all your musician apparel and gear out there. Make sure you check out their website. Links will be in the description below. It is definitely the place to go when you need some nice gear, nice hoodies, sweaters, shirts, all that good stuff. They got you covered. They got you looking right. Make sure you check them out. But today, back with another video. I know I've been gone for a minute. I was in my A for a little bit, but I'm back. Back in like a crack at it. And today we're going to talk about how to sample or i'm gonna give you some tips and tricks to help you guys get better at sampling sampling is one of my uh, favorite things to do you know i love using loops i love using samples old or new whatever and i like to make beats around it because it's just fun for me to create you know definitely appreciate somebody who put the time and work and making a great song or whatever and you know kind of making that to my own thing i'm uh, twisting up to my own style as well so i'm gonna show you guys how to do that inside of fl studio and don't worry i'll be only using stock plugins might be using this little third party effects but not need it but mostly be using stock plugins that way you can follow along with this in your daw which of course is gonna be fl studio 20 we all love fl studio but yeah so with that being said let's go ahead and jump inside the video i'm gonna show you guys some tips and tricks to help you guys get better at sampling let's go all right so here we are inside of fl studio version 20 as always my favorite daw out there and yeah so you know I'm gonna show you guys how to sample and what I do when I come sample. Now, the first thing, you know, the um, sample is, of course, finding a sample. Now, there are many ways of getting a sample out there. There is um, the free and pirated way, I guess you could say, it was going to YouTube, looking up different samples, different genres, stuff like that. And then, you know, download it for something like things how utpmp3.com and download it from there. And, you know, getting the sample that way. Of course, you gotta be careful of copyright and all that kind of stuff. And you gotta be careful with that. But, for the most part you just put it up on youtube use it for your own production whether you're trying to try make money off of it you know go ahead and do what you gotta do i definitely do i mean it's what it is if they hit me and be like yo we need you to take it down I'm like hey let's just go ahead and get the splits and all that good stuff you know i'm happy to work with um artists or whatever they pop out want to do that whatever record labels all that good stuff whatever i don't really care um or you can go somewhere like tracklist which is a dope website let me go ahead and pull it up you can go somewhere like Tracklist, which is right here, which is basically like a curated place for loops of uh, for samples and loops and all that, where they basically allow you to download samples and you can know uh, you can use it to either, you know, using your production and all that good stuff. And they also have ways of doing the royalties and splits and all that. And they have different pricing depending on that. And now they're in a subscription plan. So basically you pay a certain amount a month and you get credits and use them credits to actually download stuff. Before it used to be like you pay a dollar per download, but they just do now do it like, you know, a credit system, which I do like that better. It's easier, a little bit cheaper. And you know, you go through, download stuff, chop it up, sample it, and if you're ready to use it, you just pay the uh, license fee right here, which is like usually 50 bucks for most songs, and then boom, you're good to go. You ain't gotta worry about getting copyright hitting all that, and they do the splits and all that themselves. So, yeah, definitely check out track lists or as they do it the YouTube way. So, here's a little sample that I found right here. Just some random sample I found off of YouTube looking up lo fi samples. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> And you know, it's dope as hell. It's dope. I'm gonna make a be at this, but I'm gonna show you guys, you know, what I'm gonna do to this. I'm gonna use that first little section right there, um, which is like right at the beginning, somewhere up in here. Just gonna use that, make a quick little eight bar loop. So um, how I go about using samples is first I like to use Edison. Now, Edison is definitely a powerful, super, super powerful uh, plugin that's built inside of FL Studio. So everybody has Edison, of course. Um, I use this for all my sample needs. It's just the way I go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first bring up Edison. So we need to bring up Edison and then I'm gonna bring up the sample. I'm gonna drag it inside of Edison. It's gonna do some wacky stuff right there, of course. I'm gonna mute this one because I don't want it to play back if it does. And then we'll bring back up Edison. Now this load up in Edison, of course. Um, we're going to, you know, get this thing going. Now first, uh, a good thing to know is to have the BPM. Now there are ways to get in the BPM of the beat. Unfortunately, I don't know the BPM of this beat unfortunately so and i don't want to use a third party plugin to find it so i'm just not even going to worry about the bpm right now but we'll probably figure it out ourselves or get a rough estimate so show you guys how to come up with that so first i want to go ahead and trim off all the fat that's what i like to call it so i use this little trim but right here it's pretty much going to knock off most of the silence and stuff like that at the beginning and end of the tracks so it just makes it a little bit better kind of bring it closer so now i should have you know it should start right on the transient <laughs> And I'm gonna use from right there on that, on that. So how we do about that? First, I'm gonna turn on loop, and then make sure I pause it. And then I'm gonna go to the end part where I want to it to stop, the one simple to stop. And I'm just gonna make like a little loop selection. So let me find that real quick. Right 
there. So we're just gonna go right here and I'm gonna drag back and that should make a little loop selection right there, so. Okay, so it's not a perfect loop right now, so we're gonna get to a perfect loop. So now you see I got my little section right there. So what I wanna do is I wanna zoom in now. The thing I like to do to help me get a perfect loop is using a function called zero crossing, meaning it pretty much um, snaps to like right where the, the waveform is at the zero point of the of the, um, the sample or whatever. So to do that, you go to this little magnet tool, click zero crossing or hit the number four. And I'm going to zoom in. And as you see, it's going to kind of like snap. See, I was like snapping like that. I was jumping and snapping. That's basically setting it to the zero point, basically where, you know, the sample is right there at the mark zero right in that line so i'm gonna try to do that until i get a perfect loop so so it seems like it's a little bit too fast let's just bring it out a little bit and then we'll just zoom in and I might kind of go off camera to kind of get this if it takes too long. So I'm going to just see how this, if this don't work, I'll go off camera, come back, get a perfect loop, and then we'll continue. Yeah, so I'll be right back. Let me go ahead and get this perfect loop, and then we'll continue. All right, so we're back. I'm not gonna spend too much time. I could be here all day trying to get this. Um, you know, I just I like to be really, really, really precise with it. But this is what I got. This is what I came with. I did adjust a little bit of the beginning as well to have it snap a little bit quick on the transient, and it helped out a little bit. So you might have to, you know, both trim the full, the front and the back of the sample to get it to get a perfect loop. So do keep that in mind. But here's what I got so far. <laughs> Now it's not perfect. Of course, I can do some more adjustments going in and all that meticulously, but for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. So once you got your loop right there, there's a few things you can do before you export it or before you transfer it in the st if the studio start making a beat around it. I'm gonna show you something that I like to do a lot sometimes. It's really kind of interesting. If you go right here to this little button, the edit properties tab, you can actually go right in here and change the resampling. What I do is you can lower the bit re the bit resolution of the sample and give it more of a low five fit if you're going for this. I might do that. I'm gonna bring it down to a about 16 bit hit resample and this is going to resample it and bring it down to a um to a 16 bit sample rate and i can also you know change the float point as well if you want to do stuff like that i'm just gonna leave it at 32 bit float don't really matter but change the bit rate it's gonna it's gonna kind of filter out a little bit of the highs and stuff like that so now if i go back <laughs> But it did mess up my loop points, of course. So I'm going to undo that because we don't want that. Uh, if you want to, you know, if you're happy with this, you want to keep that, you can also go in here to the trim function, which hit the little button right here, the little scissor tool, go to trim, and it's going to leave only that sample. Then you can go back to the, the bit rate and all that. But I'm going to leave it regular because we'll probably throw some effects in it whatsoever. Okay, now I'm happy with this sample. How do I get it into FS Studio? thing I like about using stock plugins and stuff like that inside FS Studio, they all work really well. If you click this little button right here, you can actually drag it into there so boom now you have right there huh. there you go now you have it right in there and now i can play the loop of course but now i can also set it say, say i want to keep it at 140 bpm now i can also time stretch it which you just go inside the uh, fruity wrapper by double clicking it you can go right here to this time button and i can actually line it up to fit if you just drag it up you can start time stretching it i can make it to where it's a perfect eight bar loop and it's going to be time stretched to 140 bpm <laughs> Let's, let's um pitch it down a little bit. Oh, but 
I'm gonna make a beat of this video. Oh, um, and here you can also change the actual um, resampling or time stretching modes. And they got different ones that do different things. You can resample it, you can stretch it, and it you know does different sound. It, it kind of changes the way the algorithm works. <laughs> I like that. If I wanted to make it, I can make it shorter, make it a four bar loop, which I ain't doing that. And then I'm going to send it to a mixer channel. And then I'm going to add a lo fi effect. Now, there's a free lo fi effect. If you go to my channel, MrDifferentTV.com, I actually show a free FL Studio lo fi effect. And I got a full video about that. I'm not going to do it in this video, of course, but it's a pretty much it's RC20 made in FL Studio. So here it is right here and it's free. So if, let's say if you want to check this out, go to my channel, MissDifferentTV.com and check my videos, uh, just TV.com, but just YouTube, MissDifferentTV and I got a full video about this. So let's go ahead and add in some, you know, lo-fi. Oh man, that's sounding good already. Let me add like a little loop, like a little, put a little percussion loop up in there. And then we're gonna time stretch that as well. Make sure it fits. And I mean, at this point, you know, you just go in and you kind of just mess around, tinker with stuff, you know, add filters, all that good, all that good stuff to kind of, you know, shape your beat, third party plugins, your favorite ones, lo-fi plugins, all that good stuff. But that is like a quick, easy way to actually sample inside FS Studio and, you know, show you how to kind of get a perfect loop. You can do that. I definitely, if you want to see more stuff, I'll teach you. I can't make a video on how to do like choppers like that if you want to do like some boom bed type stuff. I would do it in this video, but it'll be a longer video. But if you guys want to see me actually go and show you how to chop samples instead of just, you know, how to sample and get a loop, you know, leave it in the comments below. Let Musician Goods know what you want. And I will definitely make another video actually talking about chopping sample up, and, you know, kind of get them in the groove and all that kind of stuff and use all stock plugins as well. So, yeah, that's a pretty easy video. Like I said, y'all know who it is. Your boy, Sin, a.k.a. Mr. Different, not motivated by the money, but the like, comments, guys, and views. Hope you guys enjoy, like always. Shout out to the guys at Musician Goods for letting me come back to the channel and dropping these dope videos. If you guys want to see any more things, make sure you follow the guys. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a thumb up. Check my channel out as well. Let us know what type of views you guys want to see and we'll, so we can actually bring them videos to you guys because we want to get more heavy into these videos. So, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to let y'all listen to this loop again, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.